Here we have two blocks, with one block here and a block here on a surface, which is a slope. Both blocks have the same uh, mass, which is 4 kilograms, and they are of the same dimensions. Now what happens if I increase the angle of this slope? So as I increase, you can see that the one here will topple and the top one will start to slide first and then probably eventually will topple. Just repeat that. Top one will topple and that repeat that again. Top one will topple and then the other one will slide first. And the question is, when we're investigating this, we have to decide whether the, the block is going to either slide or topple first. Consider the rectangular block of mass 4 kilograms is placed on a rough surface as shown. So we've got a block here, 4 kilograms, there's its centre of gravity. This is the slope, and this is the angle here, theta, that the slope makes with the horizontal. The coefficient between the block and the slope is 0 0.8. Investigate what happens to the block when angle theta is gradually increased, like we just did in the animation. So, point G is the centre of mass for the block. We need to check for two cases, possible sliding or possible toppling. Let's look at the sliding case, the first case. So here we've got the slope, friction acting at the slope, which is going to be mu r, limiting to keep this in its position. G, the centre of gravity, 4 grams, the shape is 1.2 metres by 0.4 metres. We've got the weight acting downwards. We've got this angle here is theta, because if this is theta, this angle here is 90 minus theta, which makes this one theta. And we've got the resultant going up here. So, consider the system when the block is in equilibrium. We're going to set up an iron J, this is limiting friction. Setting up the I and J direction, so I being this way, J being this way. Resolving in the I direction, i.e. this direction. Then in this direction we've got mu R, R acting this way and sine, uh, 4G sine at this angle acting this way. So 4G sine theta is equal to mu R is going to be equation 1. And then resolving in the j direction, which is up and down, we're going to have r is going to be equal to the, the cos component on this triangle, so it's going to be 4g cos theta. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. At the point of sliding, the frictional force is mu r, substituting 2 into 1, we're going to have that 4g sine theta is going to be equal to mu, which was 0 0.8 given in the question, and r from here, which is 4g cos theta. The 4g's will cancel out, and then you have sine theta over cos theta is equal to 0.8, divided by cos theta. That's tan theta is equal to 0.8, tan to the minus 1 of 0.8 gives me 38.7 degrees. So, the block will start to slide when theta is equal to 38.7 degrees. However, it might have already toppled. So, let's look at the case when it's toppling. So, this is the case when it's toppling. So, this edge here, which we're going to call T, at the point of toppling, T and E will run through a straight line through the centre of gravity. If you go any further past that, the, whole, the shape will topple because it's gone past its centre of gravity lost its balance okay we've still got friction acting at that wood and r acting out that way so what we've got to find here is this angle where this actually happens because after that the shape will topple so if we consider this triangle here this is 0.4 this is 1.2 then we can say that tan theta is opposite 0 0.4 divided by 1.2 theta will be tan to the minus of 0 0.4 over 1.2, which is 1 third, which gives me 18.4 degrees.
so that the block will topple when beta is equal to 18.4 degrees. So at, as 18.4 is less than the angle they started sliding up, which is 38.7, the block will topple without any sliding. And this happens when theta is 18.4 degrees. Okay, so this has been a video to show you where, what happens to a block or a slope. Does it slide first or topple first?